We've been doing this professionally for the last 18 years, and how did we get here? Well, one of the reasons we got to develop the Evolution Paint Correction Polishers was due to the products in the marketplace, they just, they just didn't cut it for us. We want to make this system as user-friendly as possible, whether you're the amateur or a car enthusiast or you're a professional detailer looking to produce the best finish. Hi, I'm Rich Light, founder of Gloss and Appearance Products. And we're here today to introduce the Evolution Paint Correction and Polishing System. Now, I decided about 10 years ago that I was very frustrated with buying 20 different products from 20 different companies to try to get the perfect finish. And today, we're going to introduce you to the Evolution Paint Correction and Polishing System. Now, this system was developed to be user-friendly for the amateur or car enthusiast to the professional detailer. And it's been kind of tough because we've had to actually test about five to six hundred different products or even more we're going to teach you how to get real close to professional results and to the consumer eye it's going to look like it's perfect but to us we have discriminating eyes because we've been doing this for 20 years we're going to cut to the chase and we're going to show you how to get professional results with our product we're going to demonstrate that step by step with this 2008 lexus is 350 lexus now this car has a lot of the common scratches and neglect from how the car was either cared for, the elements outside, the, how the car was washed, but don't worry about it because we're gonna actually walk you step through step on how to fix that paint and make it look as perfect as possible. Now when I say perfect, I mean as perfect in your eyes. got the black Lexus here that has a lot of swirl marks and scratches. So what I want to do is demonstrate how the cyclo polisher, the evolution paint correction polishes, and the different foam pads. Now something that's important to note here is that a part of the system is to first uh, take a look at the paint for a paint analysis to determine what is the severity of the scratches that are in this door panel. And if we look closely, you can see a lot of these micro scratches and a lot of these swirls coming through the paint. Now the goal is here is to actually take these and safely remove them without damaging the paint. We're going to demonstrate the Evolution Paint Correction System with our Cyclo Polisher. This polisher is a safe polisher to use to uh, reuse with the Evolution Paint Correction System. You won't have to worry about burning or damaging your paint. This polisher does not build enough friction to burn or damage your paint. This is what we call a 4 inch foam pad. Now the pad that I'm holding in my hand is a cutting pad that we use with our system. When we use this cutting pad, it's for situations that, for vehicles that have heavy paint imperfections or swirl marks or scratches. The Extreme Cut's unique because it's a self-diminishing abrasive that's a water-based emulsion. I'm gonna show you as a step here how we apply the four inch cyclo pads. Now, you see the two quick connect adapters here on the machine. What you wanna do is line up the hex nut with each one of these, and you're going to apply some pressure to make sure it's securely on. Let's go ahead and place the second pad here. So what I want to demonstrate is at 9 o'clock on each pad and at 3 o'clock, as you can see, I'm applying about a small bead of product. Take a little bit of your finger here just to rub it in. And the reason I'm doing this is when I start the machine, I don't want the product to sling all over the car. There's two counterweights in this machine that keep it balanced and operating very smooth. And you always want to turn the machine on when it's on the surface, and when you turn it off, make sure it's on the surface. This will ensure that you don't damage the weights in the machine. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to first take the product, I want to spread it out, and this is also to make sure that, I, again, I don't sling the product everywhere in the car. Now, this is not a variable speed machine, so there's one speed, and this operates at about 3,200 revolutions per minute. Now what that equates to is it's going to give us enough work or cutting action of the polisher to remove the imperfections. So let's go ahead and start the machine up. What I want to do first is I want to make sure that I properly cover the area that I want to work the imperfections out. So I'm going to get my coverage first. And one of the important things, as you can see, I've got even coverage on the panel. As you can see, I'm working in a horizontal direction, an overlapping pattern. And applying 
light to medium pressure. Yet again, about 10 to 15 pounds of pressure. It's in a horizontal direction. Now what's unique about this product is that it works wet. You can see there's very little powdering. There's very little powdering. The product was designed to give you a lot of work time without drying. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this panel in a small area first, and then we're going to do a quick wipe down with our quick detailer and a microfiber towel to check to see if we need to work the product a little bit more. As you can see, I've made about five or six passes, and now you can know, see the product is starting to burnish off or exhaust, so you can barely see it. What we want to do is use our gloss enhancer and quick detailer to quickly wipe the panel to inspect our work to see how much of the imperfections have just come out. Do we need to work it a little more, or we accomplished removing the imperfections? It looks pretty perfect, but we're going to take it a step further. We're going to use an evolution polish. And there's a couple of reasons why we're going to use the evolution polish. Some of what the halogens don't pick up, the sunlight is going to pick up. So we want this panel to be as clear as possible before applying our gloss finish LSP. Now, we've attached two four inch bloom foam pads. Now, these are soft pads that we use for our polish and our gloss finish. Now, this soft pad is gonna help spread the product, but it also, due to the softness, is gonna actually refine and pull out any residual scratches that the lights aren't picking up. So let's go ahead and start on this. Same again, I'm gonna apply a small amount of product, not very much. I'm gonna slide it across the finish to reduce any kind of slinging on the car. Now we're gonna start the machine up. Now, let's get our coverage area again. Now, this is not gonna require as many passes as we had to use with a cream cut in the orange pad. We're not trying to remove any deep imperfections. We're just trying to bring out more gloss and get more depth and clarity out of the paint. As you notice, the polish is gonna work a little bit faster. It's already starting to burn us out. It's time to take the quick detailer again and a microfiber towel and let's clean off the residual polish. What we're going to do is we're going to flip our pads over to a clean side. We're going to apply the gloss finish. This is a pretty amazing product. Um, we've tried it and have tested it with other professional detailers and car enthusiasts around the world and it's become one of the favorites of professionals. So let's go ahead and apply the gloss finish again. Let's spread out the product. Turn the machine on. Now this, I'm gonna let the polish, the gloss finish just glide over. And I always recommend keeping two hands on the polish. As you can see, it's almost exhausted. It burns out already. So let's go ahead and take a quick detailer again. We're gonna use this to remove the gloss finish. As you can see, didn't think we could get any better with the depth and clarity. But if you look closely and you look at the machine off the ground, we can put some bottles here. It looks like a mirror. If you look, one of the things that we look for is the depth perception. A lot of cars look great from 20 feet away, but with our products, they look great from 20 inches away. 